The Battle of Toulouse was one of the final battles of the Napoleonic Wars. Four days after Napoleon's surrender of the French Empire to the nations of the Sixth Coalition, having pushed the demoralized and disintegrating French imperial armies out of Spain in a difficult campaign the previous autumn, the Allied British Portuguese and Spanish army under the Marquis of Wellington pursued the war into southern France in the spring of 1814. Toulouse, the regional capital, proved stoutly defended by Marshal Salt. One British and two Spanish divisions were badly mauled in bloody fighting on 10 April, with Allied losses exceeding French casualties by 1,400. As Wellington pulled back to reorganize his shattered units, Salt held the city for an additional day before orchestrating an escape from the town with his entire army. Wellington's entry on the morning of 12 April was acclaimed by a great number of French royalists validating Salt's earlier fears of potential fifth column elements within the city. That afternoon, the official word of Napoleon's abdication and the end of the war reached Wellington. Salt agreed to an armistice on 17 April, prelude. Following their successful invasion of France earlier in the year, an Allied army of the Sixth Coalition, composed of British, Portuguese and Spanish troops under the supreme command of the Field Marshal Arthur Wellesley, Marquis of Wellington, laid siege to the city of Toulouse, one of the few remaining urban centres in France still loyal to Napoleon. The city of Toulouse was garrisoned by around 42,000 French troops, under the command of Marshal Salt, Duke of Dalmatia. Imperial forces across southern France were greatly demoralized by fighting the Anglo-Allied forces in their own country, and were further shaken by news of repeated coalition victories in northern and eastern France. Allied campaigning had gradually pushed French forces out of Spain during 1813. After endless guerrilla wars which had resulted in more than 300,000 French casualties between 1808 and late 1813, the French suffered greater losses in manpower in southern France, as Napoleon diverted many southern forces to bolster his troops facing the coalition armies invading northern and eastern France after an Allied victory at Leipzig in October, 1813. Preliminary Operations Authors after Salt's defeat by Wellington at the Battle of Authors in late February 1814, the French Marshal retreated north behind the Adore River to St. Sever. Salt was on the horns of a dilemma. He could defend Bordeaux to the northwest or Toulouse to the east, but he could not protect both. The French army would have difficulty obtaining food near Bordeaux and it would place the Garonne River in their rear. Therefore, Salt elected to base himself on Toulouse. Bordeaux with Salt moving east, Wellington sent Beresford and two divisions to seize Bordeaux, the third largest city of France. To make up for this subtraction of strength, the British general called up 8,000 Spanish infantry and the British heavy cavalry as reinforcements. Fearful that the Spanish would plunder the French countryside and incite a guerrilla war, Wellington put his allies on the British payroll and supply system. Meanwhile, the British Portuguese Spanish army pushed the French out of air sur ladder on 2 March in a skirmish. Salt pulled back to Plaisance and Maubourdet, facing west. A ten-day lull followed, during which time Wellington's reinforcements began to arrive. Allied offensive on 12 March, Beresford captured Bordeaux without resistance. Leaving the 7th Division as a garrison, he rushed back to join Wellington with the 4th Division. Meanwhile, on 1718 March, in a raid with 100 French cavalrymen, Captain Dormer circled the Allied army's south flank and attacked St. Sever where he captured 100 men. At the same time, Wellington launched his offensive, hoping to ensnare Salt's army. By rapidly marching east to St. Gordon's and northeast to Toulouse, the French avoided the British flanking columns. Reaching Toulouse, Salt placed his soldiers behind the city's walls and fortifications. Battle Forces The Toulouse 1814 Order of Battle lists the Allied and French units and organizations that were present at the battle. 
Geography Toulouse lies on the Garonne, which runs into the city from the southwest, then turns and exits to the northwest. Just east of the Garonne, the smaller Hers Mort runs past the city from the southeast to the northeast, forming a narrow corridor. To attack the city from the north, Wellington's main force would have to cross to the east bank of the Garonne, then drive southeast down the corridor between the two rivers. Initial moves on 4 April, Wellington's engineers threw a pontoon bridge across the flooding Garonne north of the French city. After 19,000 Anglo-allies crossed, the bridge gave way, trapping the men for three days. But Soult failed to take advantage of his opportunity to defeat Wellington's army in detail. On 8 April, in a fine charge, the British 18th Hussars under Lieutenant Colonel Sir Henry Murray seized the bridge at Coy de Raid on the Hers. Meanwhile, on 7 April at midnight, the official couriers left Paris with news that Napoleon had abdicated and that the war was over. French defences west of the Garonne lies the fortified suburb of Saint-Cyprien. To the north, Salt's outer defence line rested on the Long Dock Canal. Three bridges crossed the canal, at Pont Jumeau to the northwest, Pont des Minims to the north and Pont des Matablau to the northeast. Each crossing was commanded by a powerful redoubt. The heights of Calvinet rose east of the city and west of the Hers River. The heights were crowned with several redoubts. Salt held St. Cyprien with one division and the canal line with another division. Jean-Pierre Travot's conscripts lined the city walls. Jean d'Armagnac's division stood between the heights and the canal. The divisions of Jean Isidore Harrisbert and Eugene Casimir Villiter defended the heights with Eloy Taupin's division in reserve. Pierre Salt's cavalry screened to the east and south. Note that the battlefield is now within the modern city of Toulouse. British plan Wellington began his attack on Easter Sunday 10 April, hoping to divert some of Salt's forces. The British general sent Hill with the 12,600 men of the 2nd Division and Portuguese Division to attack St. Cyprien. The rest of the Anglo-Allied army operated east of the Garonne and north of the city. The 3rd Division faced the Northwest Canal Line with the Light Division to the east. Wellington planned to make his major effort against the heights of Calvinet. Beresford would take the 4th and 6th Divisions and the Hussar Brigades down the west bank of the Hers. Once he reached a point east of the city, Beresford would veer west and attack the heights with the Hussars protecting his south flank. At the same time, Manuel Fryer would assault the northern end of the heights with his two Spanish divisions. Two heavy dragoon brigades waited in reserve. Initial attacks to the west, Hill drove in the French outposts but the fighting was not serious. His forces suffered about 80 casualties. Exceeding his orders, Thomas Picton mounted a full-scale attack on the Pont Jumeau with his 3rd Division and was repulsed with 400 casualties. Meanwhile, Beresford's men encountered muddy fields and fell behind schedule. Unable to move his artillery, he ordered the cannons to take a position near the northern end of the heights and open fire. Fryer, thinking this was the signal for the combined attack, sent his men to assault the heights. The Spanish infantry forged uphill and gained a momentary foothold in a road cut. But they were counter-attacked by a cloud of French skirmishes and soon sent fleeing. Covered by the light division, the Spanish foot soldiers rallied, then attacked and were defeated a second time. Taking the heights at last Beresford's two Anglo-Portuguese divisions reached their jumping-off positions, with the 6th Division leading. A French division counter-attacked, but was easily driven uphill, and the Allied divisions began to advance up the slope. They fought their way to the top of the heights despite bitter resistance, then paused to drag up some cannon. Swinging to the north, they began rolling up the French defences. Beresford's men captured two redoubts, lost him to a counter-attack and finally seized them again after bringing the 4th Division forward. The heights being lost, Salt withdrew his soldiers behind the city's fortifications. Salt held Toulouse during the day of the 11th of April but decided to pull out of the city upon detecting Allied cavalry moving up the Toulouse-Carcassonne road. 
At 9 p.m. that evening, the French withdrew out of Toulouse by the Carcassonne Road. Armistice on the morning of 12 April a delegation of city officials handed over the city to the Allied Army. That afternoon, Wellington got news via Bordeaux from Frederick Ponsonby of Napoleon's abdication. A few hours later, this was confirmed when the official couriers arrived from Paris. On 17 April, Soult finally agreed to an armistice. In the meantime, there was one more pointless bloodletting at the Battle of Bayonne, caused by the French commander Thalvenot's refusal to accept that the war was lost with the abdication of Napoleon. Casualties The Allied army suffered 4,558 casualties, including 1,900 from Friars Divisions and 1,500 from the 6th Division. Brigade commanders Dennis Pack, James Douglas, and Thomas Brisbane were wounded. French casualties numbered 231 officers and 3,005 men, including Taupin killed. Aftermath The battle had only just begun when it was abruptly cut short by the news of Napoleon's abdication. Salt recognized that because the war had ended there was no point in fighting. He and Wellington agreed on a ceasefire and the Allies occupied Toulouse. With the ceasefire, French resistance in the south collapsed and the defeated Napoleon, who had already surrendered, was exiled to the island of Elba. The city was briefly placed under coalition control during the summer of 1814, with the withdrawal of Allied troops in September. Commentary both British and French historians claimed victory for their respective nations. The French claimed victory because Wellington failed to accomplish his aims of entrapping the French army. The taking of Toulouse amounted to very little, whilst the French lost one of their positions but their army was not defeated, causing Wellington to waste supplies and suffer heavy casualties. The British claimed victory because Toulouse ended up in their hands and the French were forced to give up ground. Monument commemorating the Battle of Toulouse. Toulouse monument to the brave men who died for the fatherland.